so 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 so. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with a review of You by Caroline Kepnes. I loved this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I could not put it down. So like always, I'm going to give a little synopsis, and then I will talk about the overall plot and what I thought and the characters and, you know, all that jazz yada yada. So without further ado, let us get started! The way that I describe this book is that Joe meets Beck. Joe becomes obsessed with Beck. Joe begins to stalk Beck. Beck begins to fall for Joe. Joe and Beck begin to date. And then all the crazy unravels. Originally, I started reading from the physical copy, but then I heard that the audiobook was so much better. And I have to agree 100% listening to it on audiobook and actually being inside of Joe's head was so insane. Like, you do not understand how creepy it was being able to hear his voice. Like, I recommend definitely listening to it on audiobook if you can. I feel like the plot of this book is often portrayed in horror thriller books because there's always, like, the stalker and the victim and blah blah blah. But this book was so different than the usual stalker books that I've read. Honestly, Joe was such a creepy character but you couldn't help love him. Like, I found myself rooting for him. Which is so messed up because, like, he's psychotic. He's, like, certifiable, needs to be locked up, psychotic. But something about him, I just loved him. I was rooting for him, which is so messed up. Everyone who knows Joe thinks that he's, like, the stand-up guy. He's an amazing person. But as a reader, you're inside his head, so you know how crazy and messed up he is, which is the creepy part because he's so easily persuading other people that he's a good guy. Like, there could be Joes in this world and we have no idea. Does anybody realize that? Like, that is creepy. The thing is, I found myself agreeing with some of the stuff that Joe was doing. It was really scary to see how easily Joe was able to insert himself into Beck's life. And I found it really creepy how he was able to find out so much through just her social media. Like, it really makes you stop and think what you're putting out there. Because, like, it would be so easy to learn so much about other people if you actually, like, took the time to look at their profiles. And that's really creepy, and I, I kind of want to swear off social media so I don't get a stalker, but I mean, nobody would want to stalk me because I'm not that exciting, but still. The thing I loved most about this book was that every single character was a vile human being. There was not one redeemable character in this book. Everybody was just not a good person. Like, Beck was so narcissistic, I hated her with a passion. She was so manipulative and a compulsive liar and it just made me so angry. I was like sitting there like, Joe, you deserve better. You need to leave this girl. And then in my head I'm like, what am I talking about? Like, Joe is insane. He's stalking this girl because he's crazy. And I'm sitting there like, no, you can do better. Like, what? I don't know, something about this book, it messes with your head. You just, you love Joe and you hate Beck and it's like, what is life? Peach was also another character that I despise. She is Beck's best friend, and she was just a terrible, terrible human being. She was so condescending. And I just, I could not deal with her character half the time. I was just like, shut up. Like, I was going along with Joe when she would, like, be making fun of her in his head. I was like, yes, Joe, you tell her, because she was just so annoying. I couldn't deal with her. I loved the writing of this book. It's told in second person, kind of like the form of a letter. It's Joe referring to Beck as you the whole time, and just something about it worked so well. I feel like it would usually bother me, but just the way it was written was so well done. There's definitely some adult content in here and a lot of vulgar language, so if you're not really into that, definitely maybe avoid this book because there's a lot of it. Overall, I thought it was an incredible thriller and I thoroughly enjoyed it and I cannot wait for the sequel. I ordered it on my library website and I'm like third in line and I am way too excited about it. Alright guys, so that was my review of You by Caroline Kepneys. I don't know if any of that made sense, but I just had to talk about the book because I just have so many feelings on it and it's all jumbled up in my head and I can't stop thinking about it. So I needed to get it out. I'm sorry if it didn't make that much sense. But seriously, read the book. If you can, get it on audiobook because it is so much better on audiobook. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye! It was beyond creepy. I know I've said that a million times, but like, ugh. There's definitely some adult contact. Contact. Yes, that too. Lots of adult contact.